Hi friends, welcome back. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Courtney and here you will find vlogs, um, videos where I chat about books and planners and other lifestyle content. Basically, I ramble on about anything and everything that makes my color loving heart do a little backflip. If that sounds fun to you, I invite you to click the subscribe button down below. Um, today we are going to do another Preptober update and I can't actually believe that I have an update um, to give but I do and I'm super excited. I'm still very excited about participating in NaNoWriMo um, next month. So if you saw the title of this video then you probably know what Preptober is. If you don't um, Preptober is the month of October where people who are going to participate in National Novel Writing Month in November um, use October to kind of prep their projects for that um, event. I guess it's an event. Yeah, it's an event. Um, where can I put my cup that I won't spill anything? So, um, I think last week I... So I talked a little bit about um, how anxious I was getting, trying to get started. And I know in my first video, um, I had talked about wanting to go ahead and start outlining and was hoping that I would get through um, like my outlining the first act. Um, but I have been very anxious and there's some part of me that was afraid that I was going to like do it the wrong way which is not a thing because like you can change whatever you want but you know I always have that fear that I'm going to mess something up and I always want it to be perfect right off the bat I am really trying to work on that in myself because I know this isn't going to be a perfect thing I'm not going this is a skill it's probably not going to be great. Um, the first draft isn't probably, you know, gonna suck a lot and I need to like get okay with that. Um, so it's a work in progress. But I did kind of bite the bullet and start. I watched a really helpful video from Michelle Schusterman, I think her name is. I will leave the video linked down before. I posted it on my community tab. But the video basically was how to like outline your novel quickly, um, which is kind of what was holding me back because I didn't even want to do the outline the wrong way. Um, so basically she takes you through several exercises to sort of um, get you out of your head and get ideas out on paper, which was super helpful. So I watched the video a few times, I took some notes, and I did the exercises, and um, ultimately through that I was able to come up with scene cards, like a lot of them. I did not think that I would have this many ideas, and she tells you, like, it's, it's okay, you're in the first step of, like, creating... The world that you're writing about so there is no bad idea there's no wrong idea um, it can be completely ridiculous just like write all of them down so I ended up with 37 of them um, and I just and what you do with the scene cards is you just start typing them into a document which I also have like I have words and ideas on paper and I am so incredibly stoked <laughs> about it like I'm ridiculously proud of myself which sounds so silly but I am um and so yeah I have about 2,500 words I'm only um at scene 16 so these are the ones that I have already written out in the document and this is like where I need to pick up 
um, when I get back at it. I have not worked on it as much as I thought I would. I think I sort of scared myself because I really, um, I, I went through the video and did the exercises one day and then um, the, so you end up with like a couple of, you go through and you start like with one sentence and then you sort of build that into a synopsis and then from that synopsis you write out your scenes and so um yeah I did that all one night and then I started typing the next night and I actually didn't want to stop but it was my turn um to do bedtime <laughs> with my son so I didn't have a choice um so I am actually going to work on that some more today and get caught up so I'm not exactly sure I do have my little <laughs> Board. I feel like Vanna White. This is my um, kind of act board and I think what I'm going to do is continue to write all of my scenes in my document and then go through um, with a highlighter and kind of divide things up that way according to you know the meet cute the no way because these are all of sort of the beats that I've combined between um, save the cat and the romancing the beat beat sheet um, so I think I'm just going to use this as like a visual to make sure that I'm kind of building um, that tension as I go um, and I have my so this is sort of my project book for this project and I have I don't know that you can see it because I haven't gone through and done everything in pen but I'm doing my uh, word count um, on here so I'm going to go through with a mild liner and write, you know, how many words I'm supposed to have every day versus what I actually have and keep track of it that way. I have been, um, some of it is just sort of taking notes on like videos that I'm watching or things that I'm reading. Some of it is, this is like my Preptober checklist um, that I've been able to go through and make sure that I'm doing the things that I wanted to do this month and then I have started working more on my character profiles which I always thought this was kind of a like you will hear people authors say um, I thought the story was gonna go one way but the characters took it a different way or um this you know this character surprised me and i didn't really know what that meant until i started doing this and i am i think i've said it before like i'm i'm a person first of all i'm like a visual learner so i need to see it on paper to kind of absorb it but I also learn better like hands on while I'm doing it. So I don't even know if it was something that I was really going to be capable of understanding until I started doing this. But I definitely see um, there are some things that I had kind of been thinking of in my head that I wanted to do that I'm already seeing like, oh, I'm not sure that's going to fit with these characters or... Um, things like that more of the I had a general idea of the two main characters but as I've gone deeper into the scenes and figuring out um, story points there the characters are becoming like they're getting more in focus for me so it's not as hazy they're they're kind of becoming their own people. I had, of course, like the broad strokes of the two people that I wanted to meet in the story, but they are kind of revealing 
themselves to me in really interesting and unexpected ways so yeah that's like new and kind of fun um, and so yeah I'm just and I'm really learning that I think my fear was that I would get my initial idea out and that would be it and they would not have any more ideas or I wouldn't really know or I would be really unsure of where to go next and I mean this has really cemented for me that you know if this is something that I want to do more than once that I am definitely a person that needs to um, plan and plot out what they're doing and to me I find a kind of freedom in that structure I think that it eases my anxiety more um, so I am able to relax a little bit I'm definitely like that person who um, you know if we're like going on a family trip or something then I want to like have a, a, a plan a general idea of what we're doing and when we're doing it um, and obviously like as a mom I know that you know children aren't little props that you're like okay well we're doing this on XYZ day at this time and it's going to be this way and everybody's gonna do this and everybody's gonna love it um, because that's not if you're a parent you know that's not really what happens um, but I do need kind of a skeleton so that I'm able to relax and enjoy myself and I, I feel that same way um, doing this project because I know the starting point and where I want these two people to end up um, I, I I'm feeling a lot more there's a lot more reassurance there I think is what I'm trying to say I've been able to surprise myself and kind of come up with some um, interesting twists that I hadn't really thought about before or weren't like in my initial thinking uh, for this book so yeah I am just I'm, I'm super I'm super stoked about everything and how it's going um, I still haven't been able to really set up a writing schedule that is definitely um, on my list of things to do in this upcoming week. Oh, the other thing, like I totally, I created a Pinterest board. I started um, a Spotify um, playlist for my book, which I'm really excited about. I think I want to print some pictures out from my Pinterest board and put it um, in this notebook just so that I have it with me. Um, and that's been kind of fun. It's so funny because I definitely have, like, the female main character is very, is very, um, I had a very good idea of, like, who I wanted her to be and what I wanted her to look like it, almost immediately. But the male main character is, ha has not been that easy for me and I think it's hard because I'm writing a romance um, and I have been with my husband for 20 years and so I real but I really am trying to avoid making him like my my husband <laughs> which is not like I'm not trying to sound all sappy about it but obviously like the your partner is like the person in your real world that you're you found all of these qualities that are attractive to you in some way and so um I don't mean like the characteristics of the main character but I mean physically like I don't want someone to ever read this and be like oh my god is this your <laughs> is this your husband that would be kind of awkward I think so I'm having like a harder time just visualizing the male main character which is really very strange 
for me. And it's even like the sort of like actors and, you know, I don't know, sport, I don't know any sports people that I think are really attractive. But most of like the actors and stuff that I'd be like, oh yeah, that actor is like very attractive. Like in some way I can like find something about them that reminds me of my husband, which is really, I don't know, is that weird? Is that kind of gross? I don't know. Anyway, um, so if you are participating in Preptober, let me know if you've made any progress uh, in the comments down below, what you're doing um, for your project. I mean, you don't have to like tell me the details, but like, are you a sci-fi writer? Are you writing middle grade? Are you writing YA? Um, yeah anything down below. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. But that is all I have for today. If you made it to the end of this ramble, um, I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps me try to grow this space. And um, yeah, if you want to see more from me, then click the subscribe button down below. I will see you next time. Bye!